changing. You are changing. There is unrest and restlessness at the same time as increased awareness and a shift in consciousness. Both are rising simultaneously. There are those who are becoming more afraid and equally those who are becoming more sure and certain of the light that they are and the love they can express. A wonderful quote from Marianne Williamson is perfect for this time. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, Who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fat? Actually, who are you not to be? You, a child of God! Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking yourself so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone! And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. At this time now, we are being asked to embrace the unknown and step boldly into the new. To this we must increase our confidence by trusting in something that is bigger. Greater than each and every one of us. To trust in the beingness that we are. We are beyond our individual personalities. We are beyond our egos. The light is beyond our mind. Trust in the unwavering connection that is us. We have to unconditionally love because if we allow it to, it will fill us up and flow out into the world. Many scientists have talked about how we are just energy vibrating, how 90% of what we are is unseen. We are asking you to tap into 9% that is unseen. Let us shine. Sometimes, you have to let your light shine. Feel into that expansiveness that you consist of. Put your full attention onto this field Really are. It never runs out. out. <laughs> it, it never, never ceases, ceases to, to exist. exist. It is a consistent part of the oneness of you and everyone. It is constantly connected to the source of all that is. You are love and the divine expressing itself. You are loved always. You are connected always. You are totally accepted and appreciated. Without prejudice, without judgment, without time. You are valued, acknowledged, and seen. All that you are, the massiveness of energy vibrating that you are beyond what you can see within your current vision is love. You can send that love out through your field so that it may be felt by everyone. Do it now. Do it now. Close your eyes. And see an impulse of pure love. Let it extend out so that it touches and surrounds the entire planet and everyone and everything within it. Be the love you want to see in the world. In order to give what you need, you have to become who you need to be. Uh, it's an internal growth and an internal process that makes it so that you can, you know, you can affect other people in the right way. You know, if you just, you know, try to get things from other people, it's not going to work. You have to become a stronger version of yourself. That, you know, includes, you know, working out, taking care of yourself, you know, doing things to, you know, feed your brain, feed your mind, and become the best that you can be. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to give the same love that you need for this world. And if you don't do that, you know, you're just going to be a plate of misery, you know. And misery loves company, so try your best to, you know, become the best person that you can be and continue growing, continue accelerating your life and improving as a human being so you can better serve this world.